Hello world. Welcome to another episode of On the Air for CCAT. I am Ken Simmons. And by the way, I've had a lot of people ask me they're out of state or out of town or uh, out of the country even, uh, how they could see my show. Uh, that's very gratifying to have people ask you that question. That's very nice. But for those of you who would care to see my show, uh, I'm on YouTube. All you gotta do is punch up YouTube and in the search uh, thing, just type in Ken Simmons on the air or on the air with Ken Simmons. I forget which is a rich on the air with on the air with Ken Simmons, and you'll get all my shows. They tell me I've got my own channel. Wow, how about that? I think that's great. Okay, we're at the Frosty Dog again, uh, and it's always nice to be here because there's so much going on here. Uh, like I say, if you've never been here, you owe it to yourself to at least drop in, get an ice cream cone, cup of coffee, whatever. See what's going on here. It's a very, very interesting place, right here in the heart of Carver on Route 58. Uh, just before you get to Shaw's, if you're coming, if you're going north, and just after Shaw's, if you're going south. Uh, tonight, as you can see in back of me, we've got a, uh, a bunch of uh, ladies. I shouldn't say a bunch of ladies. A gaggle of ladies? No, that's not good either. Uh, we've got some ladies back there who are taking painting lessons. They're painting in water tonight, water painting, and they have an artist, an accomplished artist, who's teaching them right here at the Frosty Dog. And in just a minute, we're gonna go over and talk to each of the ladies, and we're gonna to talk to the artist, just to let you know what's going on. By the way, the artist has a show that's coming on Channel 13. Uh, at the wonderful world, no. My world. My world of art. Of of, my world of painting on Channel 13 by Tony Vesco, he's the artist. So look for that, tune it in. And by the way, watch Channel 13. You're gonna like what you see, you're gonna see what you like. The programming is very, very good. Okay. Without further ado, uh, let's go over and talk to a couple of the people. Follow me. Well, here we are again, Chuck. How are you? Good, Ken. Good, Good Ken, to see you. This is becoming a habit. Yes. Uh, this is great that I, you guys could come up tonight. I got a question for you. Sure. When are you going to change clothes? Never changed it. This is the uniform. This is the official Frosty Dog uniform. <laughs> I think it's great. Five, five years. Five years in June. The Frosty Dog uniform right here. Really? Yes. yes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I think it's great. Thank you. All right. We're here. Yeah. It's, uh, it's at night. And what's going on? Why, why, why are we here? Yeah. Tonight we have a, an adult paint party. Uh, uh, Anthony uh, Visco is the artist. And uh, this is the third time we've done it. And we have a, a group of about about seven tonight, but we, it ranges from uh, seven to fourteen, uh, and it's uh, it's a great night out, great night out for the for the people, and we're trying to do it at least once a month. That's a great idea. Yeah. It's just another another step, another proof that you're doing community service here more and more and more. Well, you know, I'm open. I'm open to all different types of things up here at the Frosty Dog. We're we're trying to. Uh, Again, like you said, provide the community with a lot of different uh, services, a lot of different choices. So. You know, I noticed we, we were here for a while and waiting for uh, Chuck to get so he wasn't so doggone busy so we could talk to him. And all the people that come in here, uh, he treats them like family, which is a great idea. Well, it's a family. But, it, but uh, how do you do that? Well, it's a family place, and that's, what, uh, that's what's been so great about this over the last five years. I've seen... A little ones grow up, grow up here at the Frosty Dog, yeah. and you know they come in as little babies, and now they walk in like they, like this is their place. So that's what I wanted, an, ex, an extension of a family, uh, family place. Yeah. Well, I tell you one thing, and I'm, I maybe I shouldn't say this, but I'm a big mouth. Uh, you do a great community service here. I'm awful glad you're here. Well, thank you. I appreciate that, and I'm glad that we've been able to survive for the last five years. And yeah, it's been a tough struggle. It's been a tough struggle, especially this past winter. Uh, it's been uh, it's put us to the test this last winter, but we, we're out of it now. We're starting to get some nice weather, so we're hoping for a good season. Well, anybody that puts out the quality that you do, it's always a tough struggle because you could cut back here and there, 
nobody's going to notice maybe, but you haven't done that. No. Your quality is right up there. Yeah, yeah, we try to put out great quality food and ice cream and uh, and our service. I mean, we try to have, we have a number of parties here. We have functions over in our function room. I know you do. And you have karaoke. We have, we have family karaoke. You have we bluegrass. Have, we have bluegrass. You we have, have country. country, country you have bands. artists. We have artists. Halloween. Halloween. Christmas. Christmas. Farmer's Market. Farmer's Market. Holy mackerel. How much can we Girl Scouts. We have the Girl Scouts in doing candy bar bingo. Uh, and, candy you know, bar yeah, bingo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> So we're just trying to do, uh, we're trying to reach out to Carver and the surrounding communities. And we've done a number of things with the schools uh, to help them out with fundraisers and that type of thing. So, yeah. I'm awfully glad I can call yeah. you friend. Oh, thank you. Thank Thanks, you, Ken. Chuck. Appreciate your time. And All I right. appreciate everything uh, Cable does for, uh, for the Frosty Dog and the community. So I'm not sure that Cable does a lot for Frosty Dog, but I know Frosty Dog does a lot for the Cable. Well, I appreciate that. Right. I appreciate We're that. We're going back and see uh, Anthony Visco. Is that his yeah, name? Yeah, Anthony Visco. Okay. Yes. Thanks for the intro. Okay. Thank right. you. See you later, Chuck. Okay. All right. Let's go and see Anthony Visco. I've never Hi. met Hi. the man. I shouldn't say that. I met him just briefly. He shook my hand. Looks like a nice guy. But let's go back and meet him together, you and I. Come on. You mix it. Oh, you do, do them both on the brush. You mix it. Oh, well, you, can, you can do whatever you want. Yeah, I mean, you can mix it there. Yeah, I'd take that okra and mix it in there with it. Okay. okay? Just, just don't be afraid to get in there and mix it up. That's okay. And what I'm doing, and what I'm doing, the reason for that is the real color of pears are not. Um, I mean, if you take a look at pears, they're all colors, technically speaking. They're yellow pears and green pears and orange pears and whatever. But what I'm trying to do is to get, I'm trying to keep harmony in terms of the color, colors that we're using. Mm -hmm. The problem with a lot of people when they're painting is, is that they go from one color to another color and they don't keep, it's, the colors don't become harmonious anymore. It's sort of like jump, they jump from, uh, a, a, let's say, a red green and to a, a warm yellow and you don't want to do that you want to keep harmony when you're doing something like this and what you're doing is you're making you're going to you know we want this to be nice and round as we come we, as we as we work this thing out so as it comes around we want this to have some shape and the only way that you can have shape is to have dark to light mm -hmm. you want to go from dark to light that way it creates this this sphere We want a shape. We're going to create a shape. Good shape. Good shape. Good shape. Good shape. Okay. And now my collar. So, pull, pull it. No, it's good. It's okay. But, 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 but. Okay, here we go. Ready, my friend. All right, what am I doing okay. now? No, you're doing fine. Get bad. a little yellow. Get a go get some yellow in that palette. The yellow? I don't know. You have Where's to put some in there. Yeah. Uh, yep. Yep, that one or that one? Yep, any one of them. Yep. I need this bright yellow. <laughs> That's fine. Okay, get that yellow. Okay, good. Don't be afraid of the paint. It's it will. It's cheap paint. Okay. I mean, no, it's very expensive paint. Yours is very expensive paint. Yeah. Okay. So now I'm going to take the yellow. Yep. Mix some of the yellow with with the green. This green. Yep. Here? Just go ahead. Just script it up. I mean, what do you call it? Just get in there and be brave. Be brave. <laughs> All right. Okay. Now. A little water. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to show you something. Please do. Watch, watch. <laughs> I'll do it. We'll use your, your brush. Oh, okay. Squish it around. Okay. Oh, okay. that's pretty cool. Oh, look at the water right. in that. See? That's good. You've got a lot of water on here. i got to get rid of it. You will. All right. So. Now you're gone. See what you've just done? Yeah. Okay, now you can get, take this brush, mm -hmm. dip it in the water. Dip it in the water and, and get all of the paint out of it. Okay. Take your paper towel or your napkin, mm -hmm. and then and then take most of the water out of the brush. You're gonna become an excellent watercolorist. <laughs> now take the brush and just pull this down. Pull this down. Pull from here, the shape like that. There you go. Good girl. See? See what happens? See? Mm -hmm. Nice. Okay. What about this puddle? Don't worry about it. Don't worry about the puddle. Okay. Don't worry. Okay. Nope. A little bit more water. Take it out of you. Whoops. I love this. Okay. It's just cool. Yeah, let me get cool. in there. I love, I love it. I love it. <laughs> All right. Now go to the edge mm -hmm. All right, and do the same thing. Yeah. 
nice. The more, beautiful. see what, okay, nice. beautiful. No, 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 let it go. Yeah, we're having a, yeah. this, is, this is a paint party for people that have never painted before. Really? And when they leave here, they're going to have something that they can hang on their walls. Will they be accomplished artists? They will be for tonight. But They'll tonight. accomplish something tonight, I'm sure. Will you be accomplished artists? Absolutely. Can tonight I? Tonight you're going to accomplish a piece, right? Can I ask your name? Tony Visco. I heard that before, yes. I knew you were Tony Visco, but I want those people at the end. Oh, I'm sorry. You know me, don't you? <laughs> are you are you from Plymouth? Plymouth, yeah. Yeah, not yeah. from Carver. No, okay. I'm from Plymouth. Can I ask, how long have you been doing this? Um, I think we started at what did it do, seven o'clock tonight. No, 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 no. <laughs> how, how, long, how long have you been a painter? Um, I go back probably about 30 years. You're only 30 years old. Thank you. Yeah, nice of you. You've a, you got a great face. <laughs> I, I, now I'm going to get red. I, I would like to paint. I would like to paint you. Well, that's good. Is you, that you, is you, that a possibility? If you, if, you, if you if you are a professional artist, I'd be more than happy I've to see you. I've never painted before in my oh, life. Oh, well, <laughs> there you go. I painted well, my house. Yeah, well, that, we all we all have to do that. That doesn't count, does it? Actually, you know what? Somebody else had told me. I I do. I have. I can sit. I've sat for a number of people. Yeah, you've yeah, got a they, you've they, got a great. I think you've got a great face. Yes. Yeah, I've, I've done an, I've I've done that for a couple of very very well accomplished artists, and yeah, it's fun and to do. The face. Is also well, it's, a con it's, it's accompanied by a nice personality. Hey, <laughs> tell that to my wife. <laughs> Are you a married man? No. <laughs> no, of course I am. <laughs> yes, I am. Is your wife an artist? Uh, my wife is a t very talented lady. Yeah, she's, okay. she does she does craft art rather than this oh, type yeah. of stuff. Oh yeah, 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 yeah okay, yeah. yeah. Uh, my wife used to do craft arts. Oh, she's very good at it. She, yeah. Yeah, she, she does a lot of stuff. Talk. She's a fiber yeah. artist, by the way. Somebody else over here was a fiber artist. She does a lot with fiber art. With fiber art, what is yeah, that? Yeah, uh, cloth. You know, uh, what is it? Textiles. Textile artist. Oh, who does that? There's, there's a lady that's over here that's a textile artist. Oh, there's one thing I gotta ask you. I see some wine on the tables. Is no, that? you don't see wine on the table. I don't. No, you don't. You don't see wine. No. Or the colored water. We only have that. That's that's exactly right. We're painting. We're, next thing we're going to do is we're going to paint the glass. Oh, oh, yeah. oh! I see. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> is that all right? Yeah. yeah. Uh, okay. How long has this class been going on? Not since Wait, seven o'clock. This is seriously. It's only been since uh, yeah, since seven o'clock. Oh no, kidding. This yeah. is the first. This, this is the is first not, night here. These are these are not. Uh, these are paint parties. So that they're here to enjoy themselves for a couple of hours, have a, have a good time. Maybe some hors d'oeuvres later on, and so forth. What we, a great idea! We do idea. this about once a month, and then if somebody really wants to get into learning how to paint, then I, I teach on a regular basis. Yeah, well, yeah. learn. This is pretty doggone good. Yeah. Do you have to be? Well, that's you, that's what that's the one I did. Uh, yes, I saw that. That's, that's beautiful. Shooting for. Do you have to know how to draw before would you be paint? Would be nice. Yeah. No, yeah. Seriously, now. Yeah. No. No. I'm yeah. serious. Yeah. It would be nice because drawing is the basis. That's the skeleton of of painting. I mean, I have trouble drawing my breath. Can I ever be an artist? Well, if you have trouble drawing, drawing, drawing your breath, then I, I you have a little trouble say. speaking. <laughs> you're going to enjoy it once you get the hang of probably it. Probably that wine that you're seeing on the table—it's <laughs> <laughs> coming over here. Yeah. Well, I just had to come over and touch because yeah. I heard about Tony Visco and this and Tony Visco. Yeah, we've been I've been painting for quite a while. Well, thank you. Yeah, well, and, it certainly and, shows. And thank uh, you very have much. You yeah, take, have you been teaching quite a while? Yeah, I've been I've been teaching for uh, maybe I don't know ten years, eight years. I see this lady on channel 13, which is the channel I come from here in Cava. Uh, she's a painter, and she's teaching painting on television. Mm -hmm. Have you ever seen her? No. Well, these, I don't think it's anybody here is. Absolutely amazing. He what, did that too on TV. Well, yeah, what, what these guys can do with a brush mm -hmm. to make it look like woods over there where there was nothing just a minute ago. Yeah. I'm just flabbergasted. I really am, because oh, I haven't got a creative bone in my I, body. I, Hype the show, yeah. Hype the, oh, the show, that's right, we are painting. As a matter of fact, right now what's happening is, is that we're doing a series of, uh, a series of uh, demos uh, or painting demonstrations for local access right here. And I've got three or four of them already done in the, in the, in ready to be aired soon. Oh, no kidding. Yeah, Rich is going to be doing those. And I did a whole series in Plymouth about, uh, oh, about what, I guess about 10 years ago or so. For PAC yeah. TV? For PAC TV. Sure. I did about 12 of them over there, and, and they ran in Plymouth and Duxbury and in uh, Kingston and so forth. So well, we're doing I, a series. I can't wait to, because I, I really enjoy watching somebody do that. Yeah, we've already got three or four of them done, so they should be airing pretty soon. Did, who taught you how to paint? Uh, well, uh, to be honest with you, uh, I really, I guess, picked it up while I was when I went to art school, but 
didn't paint for a long time, and at that, from that point on, um, my wife was nice enough to give me a gift certificate to a, for a local painter, a fellow by the name of John Boynton out of Plymouth, who no longer is, he passed a few years ago. Brilliant guy, nice guy. And uh, it was a gift certificate. I went and had eight lessons, and it all came back, and I've been painting ever since. And that was back in 1990. No, 19, well, maybe before that, but somewhere around the 90s, so that's 88. Over 25 you know, years, that's yeah. for sure, yeah. So we've been doing it since then. Still, en still enjoy it? I, it's a great passion, sure, yeah. absolutely, yeah. of course. What a great thing to be able to sit there and, and get all the anxiety out of your body and put it on canvas. Is this watercolor now? That what that's, they do? They're, they're working with watercolor. You right? do oil? Yeah. I do oil in the ceramic. Canvas. I don't. Well, I do in the in the form that I do. Um, I do tile work, and I put imaging on imaging on tile. We'll take a piece and then uh, put it on tile for backsplashes and so forth. Great, that's Homes, great. That kind of stuff. Uh, but I don't, I don't do ceramics like you're thinking, and I don't mold ceramics or do anything. No, like no, that. that's not what I meant. I, no, I, 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 have, I have a lot of imagery. A lot of my work is on tile. Uh, I see a lot of people painting on velvet. Do you do that? No, no, <laughs> Jesus, no. Velvet. I, oh. <laughs> Only velvet. <laughs> Only velvet. <laughs> anybody, anybody still paint on velvet? <laughs> Just, wow. Why, is that bad? I, I don't know. I don't think I've seen that for uh, maybe 40 years. Since Elvis died. <laughs> Since Elvis died? <laughs> That's interesting. I'm almost 40 no. years old myself. Uh, do you look it? <laughs> Thank you very much. You were, I was going to say, what a nice guy. I mean, I but it's I all gone by at, the boards uh, now. I, I would have pegged you at 42, 43, but just... That's my waist measurement. You know. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I appreciate the interview, though. It's nice of you to come down Awfully here. Awfully nice to talk to you, and I'm glad you're going to be on Channel 13. I didn't know that. Yeah, I had no do, idea. We're doing a whole series right now. We're going to be doing probably, hopefully, about 10 of them. Oh, but that's we've great. We've got three or four of them right now done. So that's, they should be airing soon. That's great. Do you mind, while you're teaching, if I talk to a couple of the ladies? You can do whatever you Absolutely. I'll be, be as quiet be as guest. I can. Be my guest. Thank you so much. My, my pleasure. Tony yeah. Visco, yeah. ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. Tony Visco. Oh, that. great. That's nice. That's nice. <laughs> okay. <laughs> How are you doing? Good. Great. Good. Thank you. Are you having fun? Yeah. 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 First time you've ever done this? Uh, I did it one other time a year ago. Really? Yeah. It wasn't watercolor, though. It's are, my you from, first are you from Cabo? Cohasset. Cohasset. Can I have your name, first name? Debbie. Debbie. You, you, what you're doing there looks good to me. Thanks. But, you know, why, if you've got a pear and an apple, why not just take a picture of it? Yeah, that's no fun. Yeah, you're right. You're right. I love your French manicure. Thank you. I'm an ex-hairdresser, so uh -huh. how you doing? Good. You enjoying yourself? Oh, yeah, I'm having a ball. Can I have your name? Susan. Susan. You're from? Hull. Hull. Yes. Really? Oh. Come up from Cohasset and Hull all the way up it's here. It's a big That's thing. great. Yeah. Have you ever done this before? Uh, no, as you can tell. <laughs> <laughs> I it's can tell. It's not very good. I but could you tell. Know. I think I'm it's great. I'm a Thompson. I think it's great. You know, the fact that you're here is exactly. great. Exactly. Okay. Yeah. I'll learn. You'll get better as time way. goes on. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I wasn't handsome until I got older. You definitely aged very well. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you. How about you? Is this your first now, attempt at painting anything? Um, it's my first attempt at watercolor, yes. Oh, do you do oil? Um, we did acrylic one year. That's my sister over there, and we went last year to a similar event. Oh, you two, you two of you are sisters? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Are you also from uh, uh, Cohasset? I'm from Hull. Yeah. Hull. Mm -hmm. Hull. Yeah. All right. Yeah. It's, uh, can you draw? Uh, not really, no. No. I, no. Can you? I, I can't draw at all. <laughs> I cannot draw anything. Now, who, who did this? That looks um, good. Tony good. gave us that. Oh, That's Tony okay. Visco. Don't touch it. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to get out of the way because okay. he's going to hurt me. No, no, thank you. <laughs> how you How you doing? Good, thank you. How are you tonight? I'm not too bad for an old guy. Okay. You're, you're doing a good job there, oh, you know? Oh, thank you. Um, are you from Cabo? No, I'm from Halifax. From Halifax? Yes. We're broadcasting down there now. Did you know that? Yes. We just picked up Halifax. We're oh, very, good. We're very delighted with that, yeah. Good. So. Uh, is this your first time that you've ever done this? Watercolors, yes. Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, you work in oil? No, I've done some ceramic work and some toll painting and so forth. You enjoy it? Very much. Yeah. It looks like a lot of fun to me, but it looks awfully messy. <laughs> well, messy's fun. Yeah, I find it fun. <laughs> <laughs> but, I, but I didn't think girls did. <laughs> Thanks for talking to me. What's your name? 
Merrily. Merrily? Merrily. Merrily we roll along? That's it. Oh, my goodness. That's great. How many times have you heard that? That's great. Merrily and I have known each other since we were five years old. You're kidding. No. We see to school together. Quick estimation, that's 20 years. 20? Oh. 20, yeah. You were in Halifax? No, I'm in Plimpton. In Plimpton? Mm-hmm. You know, Plimpton's one of my favorite towns. Why is that? When I was traveling for a living, I traveled every week. I live in Randall, yeah. and I used to get home and get up on a Saturday morning real early and come down to Plimpton to the country store. Do you remember the country oh, store? Yeah, definitely. Just for a cup of okay, coffee, just to come down good. from yeah, all that traveling. Back to normal. But it's very laid to, back. To see normal, nice people. Because yep. I dealt with bad people all week long. Yeah. You know? yeah, well, businessmen, yeah. businessmen, they weren't bad people, but they yeah. were tough. Yeah. You know? How, have you done this before? I went to his last class, you, you, but I've known Tony for about 20 years. So, oh, oh no kidding! Okay. And I've had to put up with it for a long time. <laughs> he's, a, he's a great guy. That's a, did you know that Tony is also has his captaincy? He has. He in what, does. The National and, and his boat? No, his boat. No, he captain. Oh, maritime. Boat. Maritime. And he, uh, the I name am. of his boat that he had last was the Rigatoni. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you'd appreciate hearing that. Yeah, Tony Vesco and the uh, ship, good ship Rigatoni. Good ship Rigatoni. <laughs> is it, could I, should I call you captain? You don't have to know. Exactly. But he is. Mm-hmm. Okay, I'm standing here with another charming young lady. Hi, how are you? Good, how are you? I'm very good, thank you. Is this the first time at the attempted painting? Also my second time. The second time? Yes. I think you're doing a good job. Thank how you. do you feel? Uh, not so good. No? No, it doesn't look like much like a pair, so it's kind of disappointing. Oh, I think it looks like up here. It doesn't yeah. have the right shape. Well, that's, that's going to come. I certainly hope so. Oh, absolutely. Where, nice. What's your name? Jean. Jean, and you're from? Plymouth. Plymouth. Uh, yeah, that'll come. Don't worry about that. As okay. I told the young lady over there, I didn't get handsome until I was 40. You see? I guess there's hope then, huh? Absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. Look at me. I'm charming, handsome, debonair, right. and, poor. and a liar. Yeah. <laughs> Serious liar. <laughs> Thanks for talking to me, and good luck. Thank stick, you. Stick with it now. Okay. All right. And the last young lady over here, your name is? Susan. Susan, yes, I knew. See, I knew that. You feed yeah. people steady at home. I knew her name. She's right, also we've met a, before. You're also a nurse. I am. Is so this your first attempt at painting? Actually, this is number three. Number and three, it's not getting any better. I think it is. That's beautiful. Oh, that's awesome. What do you think it is? It's a basketball. That's Anybody what I thought. Anybody knows that? <laughs> <laughs> it's supposed to be a pair, Ken, but a it's pair okay. what? A pear. Oh, a pear. Not a pear. A, not any, a, yes. Are you eating pear? No, yes. Oh, okay. Yes, the kind right. you munch on. Okay, but, but, <laughs> but it's nice and round. It's yeah, but it's not supposed to be. It's I supposed know to that, be pear-shaped. But you'll be round <laughs> first, and then you get pear-shaped. I'm already there. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thanks for talking to me, Sue. Nice to talk okay. to you, too, <laughs> Oh, what a great group. What a great group. Uh, as he, we've already told you, we're going to have painting on Channel 13 by the same man that we just talked to, Tony Vesco. Uh, it would be well f- for you to tune in if you have any interest in the fine arts, painting being one of them, of course. Uh, he's a great guy, and he's a great teacher, and uh, you know, more, more of you should be watching Channel 13 because the programming on there has become, it's great. It's great now. Not just, not me, I'm not even talking about me, I'm talking about other people, you know. Uh, uh, Larry Erickson, uh, left side of the aisle. Great, tune him in. You don't have to agree with him, but just get his views, just get his ideas. Uh, Kyle Pratt, been around a long, long time. He knows sports, and he knows how to deliver it to you. It all comes to you free. This is something that CCAT has been doing for years and years and years, bringing you the events that happen in the town of Carver. And they work their heads off to do it, and do it right, as right as they can. Uh, they make mistakes. Who doesn't? Okay. Sometimes yeah. equipment breaks down. So what? That's what it's all about. We're a community. Yep. And I'm going to say once again, if you're going to buy something, shop Kava first. It's a great little town. It's got some great merchants who are out to please you. Oh, shop, Ka- shop Kava first. All right, I'm going to go over and say goodbye to Tony and thank him for being here. So why don't you just follow me while I 
see if I can get his attention. He is a very committed man. Tony, I want to say goodbye to you. It's been a delight to meet you. Thank you for coming And I think by. you're Appreciate a very talented it. guy, Thank you. as well as handsome, <laughs> as well as charming, God, as well what, as personable. Why isn't my wife listening? And I look forward to seeing your TV show. What's the name of the show? What's the name of the show? Oh, oh the show that we're doing? The show it, that, yeah. Oh, it's The Wonderful World of... Uh, My World of Painting. What is it? My World of Painting. My World of Painting. <laughs> My World of Painting <laughs> by Tony Vesco. Yeah, I have just one mental... Yeah, My World of Painting. <laughs> Thanks again, Tony. Thank you, ladies. Bye. I appreciate it. Bye. Bye. Remember Channel 13, for those of you in Halifax, I don't know what the channel is. Do you, Rich? It's 13 in Halifax also. Huh? It in, Plymouth? in Plymouth? I think it's Channel 30 in Plymouth. I'm not sure of that. Because you've got Verizon and Comcast there, right? right? So I'm not sure of the numbers down there. Plimpton? Yeah. Uh, Plimpton is supposed to come on board, too. We're broadcasting in Plimpton already, aren't we? Channel 13. Yeah. Okay. Thank you very much, everybody. Okay, let's go out and say uh, goodnight to uh, Chuck, the guy who invited us here to show us all this. I hope you enjoyed it, as I certainly did. Uh, I don't know what else to say about that. It's uh, uh, art is a personal thing, you know. Uh, you could draw a pair, and I could draw a pair. They're not going to look alike. That's just the way it is. But uh, hey, let's go out and say goodnight to Chuck. Dry and wet. All right. And the paint is just basically allowed to sort of go wherever it wants. And then you go back in. All this stuff's the same thing. If I when I did this tree, I wet the trunks. <laughs> Then I'll take a little paint and just flow it in there and let it, let it run, let it go. Just where the, it'll go only where the branches are, only where the water is, mm -hmm. okay? So the same way with the grass. The grass can be done the same way. You can sort of wet it and put a little paint in there and let it go. Yeah, it looks really good. You'll go good. through? This no, is perfect. It's fine. All right. <laughs> Much better than looking at Actually, that, to be honest, good. actually, that looks, that looks pretty good. That looks pretty good, yeah. That looks good. I gotta say, from here, it looks good. Here, let me see. In the this distance. Look at this. I mean, that, that, that looks pretty good. <laughs> it looks like a kindergarten. Rich. Kindergarten, did it? The paint and the paper is damp, and the glisten comes out of it. You have a great deal of, of ability to control how that paint moves on the paper, but it takes practice to do it. The other way to do it is um, wet on dry. That is to say, you wet your brush and you, you, you just start painting on a dry piece of paper. One, uh, We're rolling. I wow, didn't even know hey, it. All right, Rich. Church, I, I got to ask you a question. We've just been back there to see the uh, the art school. Uh, he's doing a great job. The ladies are doing a great job. It's all ladies. Is that normal? Is that uh, uh, So far, that's what it's been. But uh, we're not opposed to having a uh, no, gentleman no. come to the uh, art class. Absolutely, yeah. 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 Uh, I think sometimes a guy is a little shy about going and trying to learn how to paint. Yeah. I don't know why. Yeah. But. yeah. I don't know if I'd be that shy if I was with, you know, eight or ten women. I don't think I'd be that shy. Uh, I don't I don't think you would be either. It's a family show. It's a fa <laughs> Chuck, you wouldn't be shy about anything. No. You're a very outgoing guy. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, Thank you. How did this come to be? How did you... How did it... uh, uh, Tony and his wife c c were coming in here on Sunday nights, and I found out that he was an artist, so I approached him with the idea of maybe doing a, you know, an adult paint, paint group here. What was your yeah. idea? Yeah, so <laughs> it's, worked out, it's worked out really well. He's a very talented artist, and it's, it's really an instructional class. It's not just like paint by numbers. I mean, it's, it's, oh, real, yeah. Yeah, it's, a, real, it's a real He's going to each show. table and showing oh, them yeah. what to do. Oh, yeah. And I yeah. see you uh, serving hors d'oeuvres out there. Yes. Yeah, uh, hors d'oeuvres, yeah, yeah, yeah. We try to make it comfortable for everybody. Jeez, you know, you know I, got, I got to say once again, if you've never been here, you've got to come in just for the experience. I mean, it's a whole new world here. This is not your typical restaurant ice cream place. This is a, I don't know how to describe it, but I'll tell you, I, I will ask you for a favor. If you come in here, would you tell me how you describe it? Our number is 1019 here in Cava. How would you describe it? Once you come in here, meet this guy, meet his help, the, guy, the people that help him, uh, taste his food, his ice cream, and his demeanor. And then you tell me, how would you describe this place? It's not paradise, it's not heaven, it's not, I don't know what it is. It's just a friendly place to come. If I feel a little depressed, I drop in and see this guy with that incredible smile. I, I would like to describe it as South Shore's number one family fun center, the Frosty Dog. 
That's good enough for me. Great, great, with, Kenny. With that, I'm going to say thanks, Chuck. Thank you. Thank yeah. you. If you'll appreciate get, it. If you'll get out of my shot, I'm going to say good night to the people. Okay. Thanks, Chuck. All right, that's the end of another episode of On the Air. For CCAT, I'm Ken Simmons. And uh, I generally address it now as Hello World. I used to say Hello Carver, but now we're all over the place. Or on YouTube, we're all over the world. We've just uh, taken on Halifax. Well, hopefully, we're going to uh, uh, take on Plimpton. They're going to come on board with our little family group here. And uh, we're getting bigger and bigger. Programming is getting better and better. Uh, and that's all I'm going to say about that. But you'll be hearing more. Uh, I, I'm also going to ask a lot of you guys and gals sitting out there that would like something to do, a wonderful avocation, a hobby, call it what you will, do what I do. They'll show you how to do it. They'll show you camera techniques. They'll show you how to edit. They'll show you microphone technique. They'll show you everything you need to know to do your own show. To do your own show. And with that tease, I'm going to stop and I'm going to say thank you for viewing. I hope you enjoyed it as much as we did in bringing it to you. For CCAT again, I'm Ken Simmons. I'll say good night, just like Red Skelton used to say. Good night and God bless.